all is well. You planning on building the Suez Canal, Jake? How much money does it cost again? Like 20,000 ducats? Depends if somebody like the Bank of Hamburg is willing to pay for it. These low, low supply limits. It's okay, we're mostly mercs anyway. Head over to Yerevan. Head over to Bayezid. And let's crack some skulls. Damar. I want to, and Ethiopia will die, but that's once I've broken the back of the Ottomans. So look at Naj, he's just a conversion machine, it rips through it all. I'm gonna give him this, I'm gonna give him that, and then I will integrate him. There's no need to do any cultural enrichment down there, it's okay. Ah, he knows I'm coming. He read the guide. But this is fine, they can't make any meaningful uh, entries into my country this way. Alright, so we got our mercs together at last. They're just going to hang out in the north here. And then the non-merc guy can... I don't know. Just bum about here, I guess. I mean, this is where he belongs. I guess I'll just send him back down here. But the supply limit is terrible, so... Sell it is. War score isn't amazing, um, but if I destroy Tunis, it'll give me war score that I can use on the Ottomans. But if I peace out Tunis, it also boosts things. I'm not so sure. We'll take f uh, we'll take Fez and then figure things out. And being in this other war really helps. Oh no, Bohemia just peaced out that very moment. I think. I don't know where the knights are. There they are, but they have survived. Use the 17 stack to siege the rest west of Egypt. The uh, reason I didn't do that was because the Ottomans still had some units prowling around here. And there they are. Well, now that I know they're there, I can kill them. I can kill a lot of other people, which is going to make me very happy. And yes, this is going to be mine. fall down. Oh, but uh, speaking of you, what would you be willing to give up to the greater collective? That's actually nice. The only reason I'm going to hold out on this is so that I can destroy another auto stack and harvest a bit of war score from eating up Tunisian troops. The Ottoman separatists want to rise up, which is no big surprise. Lots of people want to rise up, as luck would have it. I know it hurts my absolutism, but I, I do that anyway. Okay, well, that's what these, uh, these murky guys are here for. But I don't want my... Uh, I don't want any more... What am I trying to say here? These words are not uh, on my side. I do not want any more separatism over here, because every time they succeed, they give another 10 years of it, and I can't be having that. I have some forts, but one would say not enough forts. I guess I have more forts protecting these areas from the effects of uh, separatists. But I also have massive armies to deal with it too, so can't worry about everything. The Ottomans can worry about everything though, look at them go, worrying. Thinking that being in Constantine will help them in their worrying. It won't, it gets them killed, look at that. Kaboom. So now that you're scared stiff, you will of course give all those ducats to me. <laughs> Alright, back we go. Now it gets a bit difficult to get the war score that I want. I mean, really, I have to go out of my way now. 
Do I have a conversion guy? I do. It's still taking forever to do a lot of these. Harumph. Oh well, what can you do? Might be a better idea to focus on these, all things considered, because these are more out of the way and I don't want to have to deal with revolts there. They're also protected by fort. These will get done eventually. And no Turkish land is not Sunni, so that's okay as well. Mush is already Armenian too, which is good. And I will probably slam it down with not Amirs later on just to get an extra conversion punch there. No, you may not. Alright, the only question is, how do I get the rest of the war score for everything I want out of the Ottomans? And there are different answers. One of them is just push my way into the Balkans. And I will probably have to do that. Well, that's what you guys are here for. Get back to it. You have six maneuver for a reason. And again, I have a couple of Merc stacks, but I'm ready for when the Ottomans revolt here. Gotta play those courts, and the Ulema must be very not happy with me. Well, I can help them out with a generous donation. Force march, no power. That's very useful, because it's exactly what I want right now. These guys? Get up there faster, please. And I lost a couple of mercs, I think. I should really replace them. Have a bit of professionalism with which to do so. Get those Muslim mass infantry going. Maybe I only lost one, because I should have 80 mercenaries. Thought I lost more than that. Well, we'll soon find out. So will you commit an Armenian slash Kurdish combo genocide on the Turk? Genocide puts it very harshly. Yes. Okay, we were ready for those. Ot wow, Ottoman separatists and Hissen Kaifa. That, that is unacceptable. Um, we'll deal with you in due time. You're not actually doing any harm outside of a bit of devastation, but there's already that. Why don't you guys get together and then we can group up and force march together. Auto scum constantly spying on me. Like they got nothing better to do. So my cannons eat a bit of attrition on this, but it's no huge deal. I am missing some more. I'm missing three. But that must mean I have some mercs elsewhere that shouldn't be where they are. There's one. Do one of my Merc stacks actually have horses in them or something? I'm at a loss here. Three of your mercs got stack wiped in Alexandria. Yeah, that's what I thought. But for some reason, okay, sure. I lack two mercs then. Ah, free force march, so good. This is the ultimate attack stack, it always will be. Get over there. I've got a nation to conquer. And its name is Ottomans. <clears throat> oh my, what a treat. I came over from watching the end of a YouTube series with Jake saying they have over half a million men, but I think the Ottomans could be taken on. Only to tune in. And there is a boffing of the Ottomans. I like to think I'm doing a favour for the many people who struggle with fighting the Ottomans. They are big and very strong. So you can tune in here to uh, 
enact the fantasies that might otherwise evade you. Alright, how are we going to do this? These two are the kind of central ones to deal with, so get on that. Oh my. There are a lot of them, sire. Maybe I should take this just a little bit slower. They can't resurrect... Oh, I was going to say, they can't have more units down here, but they're making an effort of it. Well, this is why I have these wild card units. Head on down and take care of that. Hope he doesn't take cert. That would be embarrassing for me. Six, 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 three. Just go and tenderize them. See one of your countrymen die, take down three Turks to make up for it. 33,000. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just choking with happiness here. You have got three, you've got three, right? These sieges shouldn't take too long with 40,000 cannons on them. This has been a long time coming. Remember for the longest period in this campaign, our tech was abysmal. We've caught up. We are righting wrongs. We're righting a lot of wrongs. Six, 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 three, general. I think there's a meme that's good for this. You might not like it, but this is what a perfect general looks like. I think that's how it goes. I won't claim to know much better than that. Alright, this is a situation where I'd like my extra units in here, though. I have some sieging that they'll be useful for. <clears throat> and then again, there's a lot of them, sire, too. Well, you're good for this as well. Leader or no leader. Oh, you're 6663, but I have another 6663. Wait, no. No, 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 no. No, you're 6632. Never mind. You do have extra fire damage, which is deadly, though, so I'll probably call upon you anyway. Constantinople to Greek again sounds nice. Um, no. I mean, I could, but no. No, I said I'd be doing Najan. Alright, this is all torn through. I want that extra fire here. Let's just go and kill some Turks, okay? Constantinople will indeed turn Kurdish. Yeah. It's going to be ludicrously expensive and take forever, but we're going to do it. We can't not do it. Hmm. Trouble is, I don't get any adjacent bonus around here. Well, we'll see what we can do. If it doesn't take too long, we'll just get right on it. Alright, ah, oh, this is going to be brutal. Well, could have rolled better, but 40,000 dead. Too damn good. Oh, infantry fire improvement. Don't mind if I do. How long is this golden era lasting for? 61. We still have 20 odd years of it. 24 years of more gold than ever before. Let's just carry on with the sieging up here. And you're here to keep us protected.
Jake, are you going to allow the Turks to exist in Cyprus, or is the removal going to be total? I will remove Turkish culture. I'm not going to annex the country, because I'm not interested in hyper-blobbing here. But I will remove all Turks. And I will neaten up borders as the, uh, as the need arises. I mean, if I have spare war score left over from taking all this, then I might just make it happen. I need to fight Ethiopia for Egypt as well as Arabia. But I don't think there's going to be too much problem with that. Alright, this is why I needed an extra attack stack over there, and instead I brought it over here. Ho oh, hum. I think I can go back on that, actually. Head on over there and destroy them. spill on in, but hopefully it doesn't hurt me. Religious map mode, curious about the Reformation. Yeah, sure, here we go. Oh, a bit half-hearted, really. But then Blobhemia was really in lockdown here. The Emperor Blobhemia to you. of level 8 forts walking in on them at minus 14. It's a good thing. I could barrage them if I wanted to, but I won't. I mean, this ability to force march over there is pretty good. And wow, without even noticing, we've got almost enough war score for everything we need here. I just wonder how I'm going to get enough war score in the following wars from them. Well, we'll find a way. Because where there's a whip, there's a way. I want to get integrating Naj soon, so fighting Ethiopia is very tempting whilst I'm coring all this garbage. And Ethiopia have no friends, so I should get into position for that as well. Unfortunately, we have free forced march to help out with that. I see you're spending in ten, uh, International Human Rights Day committing virtual genocide. It's almost as good as real genocide. Well, it's less messy. I don't like this, but it's no big deal. It's not even my uh, properly cored lands. They're trying everything they can to take that province back, but it's just no good, because I am considerably better Send him in. Oh, ooh. Ah, that's right. I need to take this down if I want to get back there. It's alright. I'm more than willing to do that. More than willing. feel bad. This war is going to be over before I kill enough Turks to make myself happy. That is not good. This game is reminding me that I have let my inflation spiral a bit too hard. And it's cheaper for me to reduce due to Golden Era, so let's, like I said, let's have a fiscally viable country. Even if I have to commit a minocide for it. Uh, 
Ah, yeah, that's right. That admin's probably going to be very useful for the truce breaking as well as the coring, so I should be a bit more sparing than that. Ach, wheel, what's spent is spent. Yeah, the Ottomans are looking a bit spent here. Even Corfu couldn't handle it. It's almost therapeutic by this point. The Ottomans gave me a couple of really tricky wars there, but as soon as I was able to uh, to kind of wall them off, things started looking a lot better. Eleventh, ninth, one, two. On you go. <laughs> Look at him run! He knows what's coming. Half of them running away, the other half just accepting their fate, going, oh no. Oh yeah, roll all the nines you want, it won't save you, Ottomans. Nothing will save you. There's no resurrection for you. Well, there we go. We can take what we want now. That is all of Turkey. And it was done 22 years before it had to be done. And then it's just a question of what to do here. Taking this land, of course. And... Much as I would like Cyprus, I can't really afford it. Yeah, Raba is good for the borders. And that's one of the best reasons to do anything. Wonderful. Man, that's at least an 8.5 out of 10 for borders. Okay, Nadj, you done good, but you can always do better, so please take these provinces. Also, I'm going to pay off your decks. I'm a nice guy. So, Taif. Turaba. It was such a great idea to get uh, Nadj. Jeda. And Kunfadha. Okay, I think it's time to just slaughter Ethiopia. Agrees, disagrees, I don't know. Both of these are working on... Uh, removing Copts. It'll take a wee while, but we'll get it done. And then I have a gorillion cores to make. That's okay, though. Let's uh, make it a bit easier. shouldn't drink into my absolutism that deeply, but I wanted to. Just beautiful. Okay, there's no real reason to truce break on the Ottomans right now, but I do need to know where the new capital is, and it is... Hmm, Krim. That's one of the more clever places to put it, because it's coastal with a level 8 fort on it. So it's going to make it a bit more difficult for me to uh, to grab that. Okay, where do we look to now? I kind of have to pr uh, protect this area. So I need maybe two stacks for home defense. We have you guys over here, which is useful too. Maybe you can just hang out there and take charge of this entire area. And then I'm going to want a couple of you here too. Like you. I'll just split you into a couple of you. I'll stick one there and one there. And then the rest is just, it's time to kill Ethiopia. I mean, it's always been time to kill Ethiopia, but now more so than normal. Here's a question, though. How do I get to Ethiopia? Is my fleet better than theirs? I don't have much of one, but is it better? And how are they not my rival? Guess I'm too good for them. Ethiopia, six heavies. I should be able to cross this with my entire navy working together. I hope they do. Oh, 
Well, we'll work on it. Can you show India? It's just Greater Gujarat. They and Bengal have been fighting it out. Alright, nothing but ragtags here. And they shall all get together and ragtag together in Adana. And yeah, you guys, how's that working again? The main stack heads... Well, I need to fight Ethiopia and that'll probably be around here. want something a bit stronger for it, so... Perhaps with my current setup I should have another stack. Manpower doesn't hurt so much that I can't afford another one of these, so let's get one. Sent on Baghdad, folks. Good. Alright, onward come the overextension events again, it's to be expected. One of the worst things that it does is it really kills me in Constantinople. Oh, well... Once upon a time it did. Okay, I am d -d -d dominating here. But the, the thing is, I'm giving up total control of Persia for partial control of Constantinople, where I already drink deeply from the well. I'm not sure if that's what I should be doing or not. Just not sure. Oh, why did I tech up when I should have taken my ideas when it came to dip? Well, it's a while before I can culturally enrich people anyway, so let's go for that. Uh, can you guys actually go that way? I thought not. Please be less silly next time. This land is entirely protected by forts, except maybe for Raba, so let's not worry about it. Also, it's mostly not Turkish, so I don't have to worry about it. How can you have separatism? You have no cores. Ah. Syrians, Kazakis, Trebzondon. It's all good. Also good. Um, these guys are likely to revolt anyway with Tunisians. Uh, they're not close to it, but they will be. I'm tempted to just increase autonomy anyway, but I, it feels like a waste to lose absolutism. I think I'll do it anyway, and then what I will do as well is max out my absolutism by uh, reducing autonomy around here, especially in provinces that have really high development. That way I have to do it on fewer of them. Kisan Kaifa would be ideal, but uh, it's my new capital. It's always my capital, you know. And how did Constantinople end up with no autonomy? Okay, well I never stated a lot of this stuff, so that's not going to work, is it? Wow, we have a problem that is too... Uh, too low autonomy. Okay. Stranger things have happened, really. Ah, oh, well, forget it. It's only going to be a one more job on Ethiopia anyway. Famous last words, right? The allies that I've made are pretty worthless. Nobody ever wants to join me in these wars. So we should just call the imperialism when I have my boats in position, which will be right now. Why do you not state up the land, Jake? Uh, I'm sure I have a reason. Okay, these guys are all protected, but I want these cores finished ASAP anyway. 
So get on that, please. join in this war as well. 